It's back alley here. So this is a hundred dollar free gift card that you call in and give up all your information, credit card, social security address, and they'll allegedly send you a hundred dollars, but they're not going to do it. It's a scam. The scary part is they got Americans working for them too. And it feels like you're in the twilight zone when, uh, one of them answers. But I think when you see how racist the one guy was, you'll know that it was definitely a scam and that they just seem to have uh, the whole small world cast working for them. So I hope you guys enjoy. I, I, I tried to cut out as much of the racism as I could, so I hope it doesn't ruin the continuity. And thanks for liking and subscribing. Enjoy. Hello? Hi. Yeah, what can here? I do for you? Yeah, I want the deal, man. Pardon me? I want the deal. The 50%. Okay. You are selected to get $100, okay? Yeah. So, so you, how do I you get can that? This wherever, yeah, you can claim this by any of your bank accounts, by your savings account or your check-in account. So, how do you want to claim that hundred dollars? Oh, like... So, I gotta have my checking account in front of me? Yeah, and at the end of the call, I will provide you a 14-digit confirmation number. That will be the legal proof of your hundred dollars, okay? Oh, sweet. Like, what, how, like, can I, can I spend it anywhere I want? Yeah, you can spend it anywhere, anywhere you want. So, how do you want to claim the hundred dollars? By your savings account or by your checking account? Can you guys like e transfer it to me? Uh huh. So, can I know what is the name of the bank? It's TD. Okay, can I have your first and your last name? Yeah, it's um, Joseph. Joseph. J is in Joseph. O okay, is and in Oliver. S is in it? Sam. T e is in Edgar. And F is in Bar. Okay, hold on. Did you hear that water drop sound? That was cool. Okay, my last name. Are you still there, man? Hello? I want my hundred bucks, man. Don't go away yet. Hello? Oh. Do you have the account number? Uh, you're still there? Are you I need here? account number. Yeah. Fuck, man, you're fucking demanding for a guy who's gonna give me a hundred dollars, you know? Hey, what, you, do you have that account number or not? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Four, seven, two, zero, F, U, C, K, Gammers, fuck, fuck, shit. Catch that last little bit. Yeah, what is that count number? Can you read it for me? Yeah, it's four seven two zero fuck scammers. F U C K Thanks for holding. My name's Janet. I'm here to help you with your hundred dollar voucher. The calls are quoted for quality insurance. What is your first and last name? Uh, okay, for the record, then my name is Joseph Edgar. E D G E R. You, you got it. Yeah. How do I get my hundred bucks? So you'd be receiving it within two to three days, to whatever address you want it to go to. 
What is your address? Well, I could get it sent to like um kind of on the road lately. So could I have it sent to my to my work address? Yes, sir. Okay. So then I probably or is there any way you guys can like transfer that to me? You mean like put it on your card? Yeah. Okay, well, um, we have to process it the same way for everyone. And also, this is a, it's physical. You take it into the stores and you spend it, sir. Can I use it as a liquor store? Um, I would imagine so. I mean, you can spend it at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Home Depot, gas stations, grocery stores. There's over 800 retailers. Yeah, if I can find a place that works for me, yeah. All right, so what do you need? You need my card number? My address. A sweetheart is so. Is there another way? Um, well, did you want it to go to your work address, sir? What's your name? My name is Janet. That's a nice name. I used to have a friend whose mom's name was Janet. Well, she's still alive. I didn't use to, and he's still my friend. <laughs> so I know another Janet, too. That's two Janets I know now. Well, that's good. Uh, you know, you try to network and things eventually all come out on top, right? That's right. King of the world. <laughs> so is there some other way like can we maybe um okay the truth is that I've been boondocking in a large RV and I don't have an address so I've got to figure out a way to get it that doesn't include the mail Okay, well, can you pause? Um, okay, is there anybody you know that we can send it to? Yeah, if I send it to work, then my work will just fucking send it. <laughs> um, maybe... I have to think for a minute. Where are you sending it from? Uh, Utah. Maybe we could, maybe we could have it. I'm, I'm pretty close friends. Oh, jeez, no, he wouldn't, he would spend it too, fuck. Isn't it shit when all your friends are not trustworthy? You can't, oh, I wish you guys could eat transfer it. That would make it so much more simple. Um... Oh, well, you have family that you can trust them to send it to? Yeah, I can't trust them. They're all alcoholics. Every single one of them can trust them. Uh, how about... Let's see. You can't, you can't do it just over online or something like that? And no, like I said, it's physical. Like, you know, you take it into the stores and spend it, so... Let's get physical, physical. Want to get physical. Um, well, it could send it. I mean... I don't really know what to do there. I don't, I don't have anywhere to send it. Does that mean I don't get it? Uh, well, I mean, you know, we do, we do like, need an, an address, right? Uh, Nothing really matters. Oh, I got to work soon. This is not good. I thought I was going to make a quick hundred bucks, but now it's too much hard work for me. Well, I mean, I'm trying to send it out to you. Can I come pick, can I come pick it up? Are you in Utah? 
No, I could be there in four days. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's probably not a good idea. No. Oh, so, this ain't fair. I got way too much. Okay, well, yeah. So we do need an address. Uh, uh, I don't you? have one. We're just gonna. We could we send it to the North Pole and then Santa can bring it to me. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, you know, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome to give us a call back. Um, if oh. you can, you know, think of somebody that you can trust or, you know, get a P.O. Box number or something. I trust you, Janet. Why don't you okay. send it to okay. you, and then I'll come pick it up and we can go out to dinner. I'm sorry. Um, my husband probably wouldn't like that. So anyway, uh, just give us a call back when you can find um, someone you can trust to send it, you know, to their address or get a PO number, okay? Oh, boy. I do appreciate your time. Enjoy time. your day. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hey, man. Where did you guys get a Janet from? Thank you for calling Reward Center. My name is Travis. How can I help you? Your name isn't Travis, man. That's fucking bullshit and you know it. What's your real name? My name is Travis, sir. Travis Anderson. Oh, hey, man. My name is Joseph Edgar. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How can I help you? What's the reason of your call? Oh, I want my hundred dollars, man. Can I have it? No, you well, can't have that, sir. You can't. It, why is that, man? That's not very fair. You guys to make that call? Sir, that is for only for the members who can pay $3.95 for the shipping and handling. And uh, you can't pay that. I can pay you in pay <laughs> like payment, you know? Because you... You sounds like you are broke. No, I'm drunk. I'm not broke. But I could make payments. We could do like three payments of a buck something. No, no. Thank you, sir. You can hang up the call. Oh, you hang up. You're a fucking ass. Whoa, you take it too far, man. You're a loser. Cocksucker. Uh, you're a fucking cocksucker. I kick oh. your ass, you goof. Go and go and dance in a gay bar, son of a bitch. You coming with me, sweetheart? Go together. Could you stop dropping that word? That's not cool, man. I don't give a shit if you're a fucking scammer or not. Fuck. That, that doesn't even make any sense, man. I'm Irish. That sense. Go to your country. Hear what I told you? Are you listening? Go back I'm Irish. Irish. Oh, Do you know okay. Ireland, man? Yeah, I know that. No, no, I don't think you do. You sound too stupid to know anything. You are a You're a fucking asshole. moron. Where'd you guys get a Janet from, man? Go, go get a better job, asshole. Get a better job? Dude, you're a sad case, man. You're such an asshole. Go and die. I'm an asshole. You're the fucking racist dude sitting here throwing out stuff like that. And I'm the fucking asshole. You just mad because you live in Mumbai and your team lost to Pakistan at cricket. I have my address. Give me your address. I will come to your address with loading. So, M, you're in Mumbai, right? I'm at. Pardon? I, I'm at Tampa. I, I'm at Tampa, Florida. No, you can't even say Florida, right? You fucking moron. You think I'm gonna expect to believe Florida. that you're from there? You fucking but, idiot. Well, what a fucking go tool. Go back to your country. Go back yeah. to your country. I'm coming to Mumbai tomorrow and I'm gonna take you out to a gay bar with me. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. You, yeah, man. You're in Mumbai, right? No, I'm at that Tampa. makes you mad when I say that, because you know that no, I'm fucking no, no, right. Yeah. 
Tampa. What size? Tell me where's. Tell me one city close to Tampa, you dumbass. You're breaking up. Check your connection. Yeah, I bet I'm breaking up. I'm breaking up with you. We're not going to the gay bar together anymore. I'll take Janet. Pardon? What did you say? The closer yeah. city to the Tampa? I can tell many cities. It's oh, like yeah, Tampa, well. Because you're Mango, sitting in front of a Mango, computer, you Mango, fucking Mango. loser. You're, you're fucking looking at a map of Florida, you no. fucking moron. No. no. What an idiot. That's a gap. This is That's what your gap. life has become, eh? You're That's just a, a fucking loser, a racist loser living in Mumbai. Your family fucking hates you. You got no home. Yeah, they, they correct. Do you, you are correct do you about sleep one at thing. work. Hey, I re- sir, I respect your truth. My family do hates me. That's correct. Yeah, and rightfully so, man. You stop stealing from your own yeah, family. Sir. Yeah, I'm losing. man. That's, that's correct. Cause, I'm losing. because you stole that money from them. I didn't, sir. I didn't. You I did, didn't too. You no, did. Sir. No, sir. Uh, no, I was sir. having drinks with your dad last night, and he was fucking telling me how you stole money from him. Oh, really? You enjoy dropping that word? Yeah, Does that make you feel neither. strong? What, that, what does that, that mean to you? You no, know, it's not making, making me angry. angry. It makes mad. me feel bad you're for mad. you because no, no, I'm no, white as mad. can be here. Like you're just you so far mad. off the mark. You are a mad. I am mad. mad. I'm gonna have another yes. drink. Do you want to have a drink with me? No, I don't drink. Well, that's I too bad. Weed. You think you're better than me because you don't drink? No, 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 I don't do drink. I only smoke weed, marijuana, and the cocaine. I bet you do. You're just a wolf of Wall Street, huh, you fucking pussy? Yeah, because I'm a loser. Because you I'm a loser. are. You are. Yeah. That's why your family yeah, accept- hates you. I, yeah, <laughs> You're I accept- just a fucking embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, I You're- accept the truth, sir. You when you I'm die, saying? they're just going to throw you in the Ganges and walk away. <laughs> I know, I know that, I know that. Because <laughs> no one gives a shit about you, you fucking loser. You, this, yeah, is the most, this is the most real conversation you've had in years, probably. Yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not denying that, I'm not denying that I'm a loser. I am a loser. Yeah. Well, right on a candy door, you're a loser, do baby. You know, you can't say? do anything about that. I Bye. said can't do anything about that. If I'm a loser, I'm ex- accepting that I'm a loser. And if you're a... Are you going to get more tattoos, man? Or are you just what? What do you think? No, I don't. I don't. I don't have a tattoos because... We are Catholic, so we don't have authority to do tattoos. You're a Catholic? That's laughable. Because... I've never don't... heard of a Pakistani Catholic before. <laughs> no, sir. No, I'm not a Pakistani. Oh, uh, I think you are, man. No, sir. Does that make you mad? What do you do? No, no, nothing is making me mad because I'm accepting I the way I am. The way I, I am, I am accepting that, sir, You're because not, I have that gut. You're just going to do worms and worm food in the ground one day. You're a nothing. Uh, You're a blip Can I, can on I the ask planet. you one serious question? Yeah, sure, can I ask man. you one serious question? You can ask me ten what if do you, you want. Yeah, what do you do for a living? I'm uh, I'm um, in the manufacturing industry. Oh, and like, what's your basic salary over there? Monthly. My monthly salary? Yes. Oh, two goats and a chicken? Yeah, like, what's your basic monthly salary? You know, we get paid in goats and chickens in my country. Just like I know, country. I know. You you get I know, sorry, I know I'm 
I'm also in United States. We get paid by weekly, hourly, weekly pay, daily pay, monthly pay, depends on us. So I'm asking you, what's your monthly, like average monthly salary? Is that what you base like people's worth on? No, sir. I'm just asking you, sir, because I want to know, because I'm also working in manufacturing company from last 20 years. No, you're not. But I'd like to know. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you my monthly salary if you tell me where you got a Janet from. Yeah, first tell me that. I want to know because I want to know what's your basic monthly salary. and what's I want to know how you got a Janet How'd you get her? I, Does Janet know she's it. running a scam? No, no, no. Like she's you know, your one legit are, operator. Yeah, you know, sir. Like, uh, I think we should we should stop working and we should stop working in the matrix. We are stuck in matrix, you know. We have matrix. Our own it's business. matrix. So matrix, isn't, matrix. matrix isn't a word, man. No, matrix. I said matrix. M A D R I X matrix. I know what you fucking said. You said it wrong, and I'm telling you how to say it right. You're fucking welcome. Jesus. You know, you know, you know, Andrew Tate. What? Do you know Andrew Tate? Oh my god, you know what doesn't surprise me? That you, of all people, would bring up Andrew Tate, you fucking goof. You no, are a full-out, you're a full-out fucking so loser. You are, you it, like it's him. fucking laughable, man. I'm an alcoholic, but you're a fucking straight-up loser. You got your dinky yeah. toy cars and your button-up fucking shirt. And your pointy toed fucking shoes, sir, and you walk sir, around with a watch mad? on, thinking you you're mad? all king fucking sir, shit. Sir, but you ain't fucking you nothing. Mad? You're a fucking girly man. I'd break you in sir, half in a sir. second, you fucking little okay, pussy. Okay, that is okay. But tell me the reason why you don't like him. No, I don't like you, man. You're a fucking little pussy weasel, and I'd love to deck you in I the am. face. I am. I accept that. I am. If you ever come to my country, can you let me know so I can come punch you? I would like to. I would like to meet you, sir. Yeah, you bet you would. Yeah, we can talk on the video call. Can you give me your number so we can FaceTime? I want to speak. You're so full of fucking shit. You're yeah, such yeah. a goof. What a loser. Give me FaceTime. I ain't FaceTiming with a fucking weasel. I might as well just talk to a picture of a rat on a wall. Hi, thanks for holding. My name is Peter. I'll be helping you with the $100 voucher today. All calls recorded for quality assurance. Can I start with your first and last name, please? Well, that's crazy, man. You almost sound believable. Oh, well, that's wonderful, sir. Uh, your phone hey. number, of course, nine fourteen sixty-six, right? What are you talking about? Are you trying to pretend you're legit shit? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. You called me. Do you have any questions today? Yeah, man, I want my hundred dollars. Okay. Well, your phone number, thank goodness for you. It brings up your street address here in Tennessee, so I thank you for that. We've been looking for that one. Let's see if you can confirm your address for me. Man, I ain't giving you shit. You ain't fucking no, with okay. shit. I got your address here in Tennessee. Thank you for phoning in. I came up with your phone number. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Hello, thank you for holding. My name is Carly, and I'll be helping you claim your $100 reward voucher today. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. May I have your first and your last name, please? You guys have a Janet and a Carly? Holy cow. That's crazy. Sometimes it's a scammer and sometimes it's an American scammer. It throws me right off. No, you're not. That we... You're not in Mumbai. 
Where are you? We are located at C dash U Draper, Utah. At a Utah? Yes, we are. So I'm talking to a kid right now? I'm not a kid, I am just a young adult. Do you know that you're working for a scam number, dear? All right, thanks. Have a great day. Thank you for holding. My name is Amanda, and I'll be helping you claim your $100 baby voucher. I'll oh, call. my God. You've got a Carly, a Janet, and an Amanda. Do you guys all know that you're working for a scam, or is it like being pulled up? Thank you for calling. How may I help you? Oh, you got one of your girls, too. What's your name, sweetheart? Thank you for holding the line. My name is Jack. How can I help you? Hi, Jack. My name's Janet. We have a Janet, too, now. Now you guys have a Janet, and we have a Janet. I'm sorry? How, how are you today? I'm good, sir. What's, what's with the voice? Well, because you guys have a Janet, so I thought we would get ourselves a Janet. So now we have a Janet, too. You guys aren't the only ones with a Janet. I don't understand what you're saying, ma'am. Well, my name's, ja my name's Janet. I work for Customer Support Support, and today we're giving a free $100 to the first scammer to admit that they're a scammer. Okay, so how can I help you with that? Well, if you admit that you're a scammer, you get a free $100. Uh, can I ask you something? Can you can ask me two using? things. Oh, I'm using... I'm to ask only one. Which application I, are you using? That's funny. I put, like, sunscreen on when I'm in the sun. And I, if I need someone to help me, then I get them to help me to get this small part of my back that I can't reach and Thank you for calling. This is Richard. And how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. How are you doing, man? I'm fine, sir. Thank you for asking. How can I assist you? Uh, I wanna I wanna get the hundred dollar voucher. Okay, so you're calling for the $100 shopping voucher, right? Yeah, man, that sounds good to me. What do you need? So let me inform you that, sir, you can use this rebate voucher at Walmart, Kohl's, or Target. These are the stores where you can use this voucher. You can spend it on your clothing, dining, entertainment, gifts, electronics, and services. And this will be valid for one good year. So whenever you want, you can start using your voucher at any of your favorite stores. You can spend it at once, or you can spend it little by little. That is totally up to your choice. So it will be mailed to you in the next three business days. And in order to claim this $100 shopping rewards as a customer, all you need to take care of will be the one-time shipping and activation fee. That would be $5.95. Is that manageable fee for you? Yeah, so it's five ninety five. You said. Yes, that would be the one time shipping and activation fee. Oh, uh, hey man, hey man, have you got like noise cancellation turned on or something? Cause your voice kind of clips in and out, and it's just kind of choppy. Is there a way like it keeps? No, what are you? So it sounds like you're in a bubble bath. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, it's just choppy. It's, it's okay. Just if you talk a little slower, I can maybe hear you better. All right, sir. So am I audible to you right now? Yeah, you are. But it just sounds like your microphone is trying to cancel out something. So it's kind of choppy. I don't oh, see like I can hear your background just fine, but I can't when you go to talk. Maybe you should tell your coworkers to be quiet. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, 
in order to bring this on a dollar shopping voucher how would you like to take care of a one time shipping and activation fee that would be by using a visa or a mastercard for the 5 or 95 cents okay um uh, i guess we could go with what wait what does it show up as on my visa you do not have your card details no i mean what the, when i look at my visa for the bill what will it show up as sir right now i can just help you out to claim for this voucher and all your information are oh, yeah, in man. You're, the form of charge. you're not even going to tell me what it shows up as on my visa man Sir, that are your personal information, which has been set up in the star format, so that no other person can see or examine your details. No, I'm talking about when you guys charge me the five ninety five, and I go back and so look at. You need to verify with the card numbers. Can I finish my fucking sentence? The fucking. You charge me the five ninety five, and then I go and look at my visa later online. What's it gonna show up as for the five ninety five? It could be under the name of JV Pass. Can you, can you spell that, please? Journey J O U R N E Y Journey Pass or JV Pass. J as in Juliet, V as in Victor, pass like password. And I'll be able to refund it if I don't get my hundred dollars. So you will be receiving the hundred dollar drop in the box, okay? And once you receive it, if this call is recorded. If this call is recorded, you're gonna get fired for that shit microphone, dude. You gotta f- turn off the noise cancellation. There's gotta be a way. Talking to a mermaid. For quality assurance purposes, all calls are monitored and recorded. Hey, Rolly, my name is Nelson. I'll be helping you claim your reward today. Could I have your first and last name, please? It's Joseph Edgar. What's your name? My name is Nelson. Nelson? Hi, yes. Nelson. How you doing today, man? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Oh, I've had a busy day of drinking. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I want uh, now, the hundred hundred dollars in rewards. How do I get that? I got the shopping reward voucher. Uh great selection. You can use that at over eight thousand different stores nationwide. Could be used for groceries, hygiene, clothes, shoes, electronics, medication as well. What address would you like us to mail the reward to? Did you say eight thousand? Yes, eight thousand different stores. Holy cow, man! Can I use it at gas stations? It could be retailer stores. It can be used for groceries, hygiene, clothes, electronics, or medication. Are they gift? What is it? Like a voucher or a Visa card or something? It's a shopping reward voucher. It's similar to a gift card. The only difference: there's no expiration date on it, and you can use this, like I said, apart. From one store at over eight thousand different stores. So I could give it as a gift at Christmas too. It wouldn't be in my name or anything. Yeah, uh, yeah you can give it away as a gift. Um, what does it cost me? Anything? We would simply verify the address where we would mail the reward to, and order free to receive it. In the next twenty-four to four hours, you don't have to sign up or purchase anything. There's just a small one-time shipping fee of four dollars and ninety-five cents to get this reward to you. Four ninety-five, and so then yes. I 
we pay that over the phone or do I go online to pay that? The $4.95, you can cover that today using any Visa or MasterCard of your choice. Uh, what does it show up as on my card, though? It's going to show up as the reward center. We click my reward. And it's not something... What if I don't get the $100? Do I get the $4 back? Yes, we are a PCI compliance business. We will provide a confirmation number for this, along with our customer service number. And once the information is processed, it is encrypted and saved. So our payment platform is fully integrated with Visa and MasterCard, and we would not risk our reputation over such a small charge as well. And I can use it just about anywhere then. Yeah, you can use that stores like Best Buy, Walgreens, CVS, TJ Maxx, Lumendale, Costco, Sam Club, to name a few. But we would send a complete list of all the 8,000 stores you can select. Can I use it at a gas station? No, it can only be for retailer stores. Oh. Can I use it at a liquor store? Not sure if it's, if uh, tobacco or liquor is a product you can buy with it, but the information would be included with it. Crazy. Okay, so what do we got to do? What address would you like us to mail your reward to? Oh, fuck. I got to get my address? Yeah, what address would you like us to mail your reward to? I've been living in a in a van for three years. I don't have a GPS location. What do I do? Well, we would need a physical address or a P.O. box to mail this out to you. Oh, P.O. box. That might work. Yeah, that's a good point. Where are you guys sending it from? We're sending it from Orlando, Florida. Oh. That's not too far for me. Is there somewhere people can pick them up? No, the reward itself gets mailed out to you. Oh, it has to be mailed. I yeah. Mean, I think if I know of an address, I can have it sent to. I don't know if my family would want me giving out their address. You know what I mean? Can I use it on, like, online stuff? Like PayPal? Yeah, you can use it online. You can use it online as well. So is there, like, an online option where I can just get it emailed or something? No, the reward itself, like I said, gets mailed to you, sir. Oh, uh, it's a physical card? It's a physical shopping reward voucher. Are you sure you're not stealing from me, man? No, we're on the direct, like I said, we're on the direct line with Visa and MasterCard. Based on consumer protection laws, if anyone was to try to bill your card without your consent or get any unauthorized charges, you do have the right to remove such charges. Bottom line, you are protected by your card company, and we would not risk our reputation as a company as well. What's the we name? Able to use what's any Visa or MasterCard. Of your what's the name of your company? This is the reward center for Click My Reward. Yeah, what's the official name, like legal name? It's Click My Reward, sir. That's the company's name. That's the name, Click My Rewards? Yes. I don't know, man. I, I've had money stolen from me before. I don't want to have it happen again, you know? Okay, well, we help hundreds of customers every day. We process over 20,000 credit card transactions a month. So trust me, we wouldn't risk our good standings with Visa and MasterCard over such a small charge as well. What's your last name, Nelson? My name is Moore. Nelson Moore? Yes. That's a good name, man. M-O-O-R-E or M-O-R-E? 
Two O's. Two O's. You know what else says two O's? That's correct. Cool. As two O's. <laughs> Good has two O's too. But so does That's Took. Correct. So does Took, and I don't want to be Took. I. I give out. I'm All not. Right, boy, like I said, we. It's not like a fucking subscription or something, is it? Next thing I no, know, I'm to signed sign up. up. To... I don't want to be no, on you any. You don't have to sign up anything. Okay. You don't have to buy anything, sir. Well, that's... That's all tickety-boo. Oh, boo, that's got two O's, okay. too. And so does two. That's a lot of O's, man. Oh. Okay, so uh, what address would you like us to mail the reward to? Oh, jeez. Just give me a second to... To look it up. Okay. I take me a second here to get my maps up. I can send it to my to my dad's house. Okay. You guys are working in offices now. You're free to do that again. Yeah. That's good. It's nice to be around people. It is. Oh, jeez. This is so hard to see. <laughs> Take your time. I'm trying. Okay, what what's the confirmation code? That would generate at the end, sir. Oh, it doesn't get generated first? No. I'm not already confirmed. Let's see. Oh, man, this is hard. The whole, whole room is spinning. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh man! Oh, oh. I, I, you know what? I, I think you guys are trying to steal from me. Okay. Well, you did press one for the reward voucher. You got to us, sir. Yeah, I, I did. I got to you, but you now you're telling me it's going to cost me five bucks. Yeah, that's that, the way to run. Uh, so it should, say, it should say that I'm eligible for $96.05. Or wait, well, $95.05? I don't know. I don't know my fucking math. It shouldn't say $300 in rewards because it's not... So okay. I do understand what the reward process it's set up that way, so I don't know man, feels like you're trying to trick me. Do you play poker Nelson? I do. Uh what's your favorite hand? Well, it depends what you get served. I mean, you got to play it right. I like Jack of Clubs and King of Diamonds. Okay. Do you, do you get the joke? Yeah, I get it, sir. Uh-huh.
Hello? Hi, sir. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Having a day at home away from work. So that part's nice. And then I find out that I can get a free hundred dollars. So it's like getting paid to not go to work. Yeah. So... Just hold the line, okay? What? Just hold the line, sir. Why is Wait that? Can you hear me okay? Alright, uh, yeah. Help me with your first and your last name. It's Joseph Edgar. Capital J. Okay, thank you. Oh, you got it. I know. Can you spell your first and your last name? Yeah, it's J O S is in Stephen. E is in Edgar. And F is in funny. And E, D, G is in George, A, R. And your mailing address? So, are you guys going to charge me on my credit card or something, though? Okay, so, sir, let me explain you that the Thank you. Shopping voucher, uh -huh. and you can use this voucher at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Coopers. You can buy groceries, snacks, beverages, apart from alcohol and smoke. So we will send this to you via UPS mail within five to seven business working days. You need to only take care of three dollars and ninety-five cents from your side. How many? How many places does it work at? Okay, so you can go to any place and you can buy anything you want, okay? Okay. And it's only three ninety five. Ah uh, yes, three dollars and ninety five cents and nothing apart from that. You see no the Yo, know, there is a catch. See Juliet, I I called yesterday and it was five ninety five and today it's three ninety five. Ah uh, yes, no sir, it was yesterday also it was three dollars ninety five cents. So and today also it is three dollars and ninety five cents. The same. So was he trying to take me for an extra two dollars? What does I, this? I don't know, sir. But no. It was it is just three dollars and ninety five cents, and this is on a recorded line, okay? Okay, and what does it show up as on my on my visa? Company have got charged, but our company charges are only $3.95. Yeah, but, yeah, but what I mean is, what will it show up as on my visa when I look at the statement? I said you can contact on that number or that company which has charged you. No, I mean when you charge me the three dollars and some odd cents, what's it gonna say on my visa statement? The verification officer will assist you for that. Okay. So can you put me right. help me with you can you please help me with you your uh, mailing address? I'm not giving you my address. Give me the technical guy so I can talk to him and get the questions I have answered before I give out my information. I uh, said before you give all the information then only I can connect this call to verification officer. Well, it seems like we've got ourselves a Mexican standoff, Juliet. Which one of us is going to hang up first? Is it? You can hang up by your side. No, you hang up because I don't trust you. You won't put me through the technical support. That's not fair. I get to know the information. I'm the customer. You're the customer support. All right, just hold the line. Thank you, ma'am.
you're who am I waiting for? We're just waiting for them, one of them to be free. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait all day. Should I just call someone else? Just hold the line. I'm trying to bring the call. Okay. It must be busy, is it? Thank you for the holding the line. Thank you for your patience. My name is Mike. Am I talking to Joseph? Yeah, you got it, man. I was asking her some questions and she couldn't answer any of them. And I said, can you put me through to someone that can answer these questions, please? All right, go ahead. So if I get it charged on my visa, how does it show up on my statement? All right, how much it got charged? What is the amount? No, I'm not asking about a charged amount. I'm saying when you guys charge me, what will it say on my visa statement? Like, will it say charged from free gift card? Or what? No, sir. If you say the charge amount and uh, what is there on that, it is a $5, right? In my system, it is showing that $5. See? Right? I'm getting all these conflicting prices, man. She said three ninety five. Now you're saying five dollars. What are you guys fucking running over there? I'm you trying to just trick a drunk guy? Sir. Yeah, what is it, buddy? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, so what's it going to say on my visa? What's the charge? What's it going to say? So if I have to review it later, I got to know what the fuck it says. All right, sir. I will be checking in my system. Hold the line. Oh, my God. You're going to make me hold again? What kind of fucking... I just want my hundred fucking dollars, you guys. This is ridiculous. Can't tell me anything. Mike, are you still there? Alright, you have to help me with the card number, sir. Help me with the card number so that I can check in my system. That's the number. Mike, you're not listening to me, man. Is there something, is there something wrong here? I said I want to know when you charge me what it's going to say. What's the name of the company that's charging me the money? Where are you, Mike? Are you there? You have to help me with the card number, sir. I have the card number only. Are you in Mumbai, Mike? No. Where are you at? Sir, you want this $100 voucher or not? Yeah, man. Give me the $100 voucher then. You have to pay $3.95. Yeah, and I asked you three times now. If I need to get a refund, what's it going to show up as on my fucking statement? Sir, after the card number only, I can help you with all of that, okay? So you want Do me... You have the card? Man, I have the card right in front of me here. Fuck. Read the card number. It says... Just fucking second. For fuck's sake. You guys don't fucking listen, though, you know? Fuck's your fucking problem. I can't tell you what it is. It's four fucking fucking four seven two four one eight one one 
F U C K Y O U fucking asshole for fucking trying sir, to scare me. I'm not asking me. your name, sir. You're, I'm not asking your name. My name's Joseph, you fuckwad. No, sir. You are saying your name when I am asking your card number. You are saying your name. Oh, I Don't get. Don't say your name. F U C K. Okay. Not, I'm not asking your name. Oh, okay. The card says. Up yours, you piece of shit fucking scammer. Oh, are you gone now? You escaped? Don't the escape hatch? Fucking little girl. Little child. Where the fuck are you? Give me my fucking hundred dollars, you fucking thieves. Huh? Where's my fucking hundred bucks? No, oh, you're gonna just leave me here, eh? Sitting in the ether of the old $100 card scam. Fucking chilling in Mumbai trying to get my fucking credit card information, you fucking scammy little bugger. Thank you for calling Savings Line. My name is Calvin. How can I help you today? Calvin, I'm like fucking Sherlock Holmes on this shit. You guys are a fucking scam. So you might have mistaken us to someone else, sir. Okay. We are not engaged in any outbound calls, sir. Well, will you... The reason I'm saving outbound time. calls doesn't mean it's not a fucking scam. Don't try to pull that deflection, you fucking idiot. So, so we are on a recorded line? Yeah. Yeah, record this. This scammer I'm talking to is probably in Mumbai and steals money from innocent people. Did they hear that, you think? Sir. So you raise the number of savings line, sir. Yeah. What are you going to charge my card for the $100 gift card? How much? Sir, we do not engage, we do not engage in any outbound calls, sir. You might have mistaken us. My assistant, I'll help you with that. It's about a direct assistant number, sir. Can you note it down? And they may help you with the concern you're looking for. Okay, just let me get a pen for a second. Okay, what's the number? It's one eight hundred. One eight hundred. Three seven three. Three seven three one. Yes, and you're gonna They may help you. Uh, you can help me, man. I just want to know what the fucking charge is. What are you gonna charge me for the gift card? So, here is the number for savings line, sir. Right. I'll be only help you with that support a direct assistant number, sir. Where are you, so you man? Can hang up the call, sir. What city are you in? So you can hang up the call. We are on a recorded line, sir. You hang up the call, you fucking scammer. I'll call and talk to someone else then. Hang up All the right. call, fucking Mumbai. So. What's your problem? Do you want? So we are on a recorded line. Yeah. Here is the number for savings line. Do you want to help you with that support Do you, so you, you want to fucking fight on the recorded line? I'll knock your teeth out, man. Let's go. Put up your dukes, fucker. So you can hang up the calls. I'll hit you so hard you'll feel it all the way from Mumbai. Hey, are you hearing me? So this is all recorded. Use those words, sir. Make sure they hear it all. I want it fully recorded that you guys are fucking scammers. One guy tells me buck ninety five, another guy tells me three ninety five, one guy tells me five ninety five, one tells me four ninety five, then this fucking dude comes up and gives me some phone number to some company that's not even fucking related to them. You're just a fucking scammer. What's your name again? Travis? So Calvin, sir. Calvin, Calvin, like Calvin. You ever read the Calvin and Hobbes books, man? About the boy and the cat. So my name is Calvin. 
Yeah, that's, yeah, Calvin and Hobbes, man. Great comic from the fucking 60s or 70s or something. About a little blonde boy with a pet cat. It's actually a stuffed cat, but his imagination has the stuffed cat come to life all the time. He's got a good imagination. In fact, I was probably one of my fucking idols growing up. Listen to all those scammers in the background. You guys got a whole room of fucking liars, eh? So? This is a recorded line. I got you, man. You said it before. You got anything else to say, or are you just going to fucking robot it the rest of the way? So you can hang up the call, sir? No, I said you hang up the call, or I'll beat you up. Tell me where you are. I'll come fucking find you. You and so you reached the number for saving the client, sir. Yeah, are you in Utah? Yeah, you're gonna hang up, right? Get fucking hanging up, you fucking weasel. Hurry up. Hang up so I can talk to someone that's got a brain in their head. Come on, goof, hang up. I can see you're still there, fucking weasel. I'll knock you out. One punch to the moon, motherfucker. You ready? Where are you at, buddy? Yes, sir. What is it, homie? Sir? What? So I have helped you with the ad assistant number, so now you can hang the call, sir. I said you hang up, you scammy weasel. Fucking do it. Just push that button and move on to the next scam, and I'll call someone else and fucking make sure they know they're a fucking scammer, too. You should just shout it out right now. We're all fucking scammers like that. Have you hung up yet, man? I can hear that you're still fucking there. Hang up the fucking call. Hang it up, man. Quit wasting my fucking time, you fucking loser. Come on. I see you're still there, just sitting there listening to me tell you how stupid you fucking are. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're stupid. You're fucking dumb as dumb comes. Hey, hey. You hear me, motherfucker? From here on out, if you come back on this line, you better call me. I'm hanging up this call. Is there no response? Yeah, hang up, motherfucker. I've been telling you to hang the fuck I'm, up. I'm hanging up. Good. This call did no response. Go. So I'm hanging up this yeah. call. Yeah. Did no response. You're no response that you wait for and then you say it, you fucking idiot. You can fucking hear me, you fucking scammy piece of shit. Hang up the fucking phone. So I'm hanging up this call. Due to no response, or because it's a fucking recorded line and you gotta scam someone, you fucking loser. Thank you for holding. My name is Kobe. I've been helping you claim your reward. Can I get your first and last name, please? Sorry, what was your first name? That was Kobe. Cody? Yes, sir. C O D Y or C O D A Y or C O A D Y? C O D Y. Hi, Cody. My name's Joseph. How are you doing today, man? Fine, Joseph. And yourself? Well, I'm trying to get to the bottom of something. Every time I call you guys, you give me different numbers, and it's it's starting to bug me. 
One guy charges five ninety five. One guy charges three ninety five. One guy charges a buck ninety five. What's the fucking deal, man? Are you guys? Uh, yeah, you're talking, yeah. You're talking about the reward. Right? Yeah. Well, but they keep giving me different fucking numbers. They're gonna charge me this number. They're gonna charge me this number. One lady wouldn't even tell me who's gonna fucking charge me. Who's going to fucking charge me? What's it going to say on my visa statement, Cody? I have no idea, sir. I didn't help you set the reward. Are you listening to me, man? What the fuck? Every time I talk to one of you guys, give me that fucking answer. I said, when you charge me, what's it going to say on my fucking visa, man? It should say for... The charge that the representative told me, it should state that charge for the reward center to click my wife. They should state that. Okay. Hey, you sound like maybe you're in the Caribbean somewhere, man. Are you in the Caribbean, Cody? Not right now. It's, are you from the Caribbean, man? From the Caribbean, but I'm not living there. Cody from the Caribbean. Yeah, imagine it's a small world after all. You guys, all you need is a couple of Germans working for you, and you got the whole planet covered. You're so spread, uh, you're so spread out. It's fucked up. You guys are a weird fucking scam. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone, but now I'm talking to a Caribbean guy, and I'm used to you guys trying to scam people. Did I try to call you and scam you, sir? Why do you guys always go with, did I try to call you and scam you? A scam doesn't mean that you have to call them. That's not the only way a fucking scam works. Jesus Christ, I feel like Sherlock Holmes talking to you fucking morons. Sir, I think you're the moron because you're the one here talking about a lot of nonsense at my ears right now, sir. I don't have time for this. Did you just call me a moron? You fucking yep. asshole, that's fucking bullshit. What kind of customer service industry are you working in? You get to say that. Maybe in the Caribbean they stand for that shit, but you're, this is America. You're, you're calling me one, why can't I call you about the same thing? Oh, uh, because I'm not the fucking scammer trying to steal money from innocent people, man. Oh, I see. You can call me names for being drunk. You can call me names for calling you names. She can't call me names for the same reason, because you're a fucking scammer, and I'm an honest so. Thanks for holding. My name is Manfred. I'm happy to claim your $100 rebate voucher today. I'll go set a credit for quality insurance. May I have your first and last name? Hello there, dear. I'm from Customer Support Support, the Internal Review and Employee Relations Committee. We're just checking in to make sure everything's going all right for our operators. Are you all right, dear? I can't hear you proper, dear. The number you're calling for that company has been changed. We are just running a promotion today. I'm going to be happy to get you a $100 voucher. All right, so they haven't given you the full training yet. Every now and then you're going to get a call from me like a therapist. And what's going to happen is we just make sure that you're all right and nobody's abusing you too much. Hi there, thank you for holding. My name is Jerry. I'll be helping you claim your voucher on calls recorded quality assurance. What is your name, please? Hello there, Jerry. This is Janet. I'm from Customer Support Support Journey Rewards Employee Relations Committee. We're just making sure our employees are working correctly and everything's going well for you. How can I help you today? Well, that's I'm here to help you and to make sure if you need to vent about anything, if your coworkers are not treating you with respect, it's now is the time to say so. Mm. You're not doing a good job at your job, Janet, because you've dialed the wrong number. Try again. Thank you for holding. My name is Daniela. I'll be helping you to claim your warrant today. Can I have your first and last name? Hello there. This is Janet. I'm from Employee Relations with Customer Support Support. We're just checking in on you. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Janet, Has this everyone... is Rewards Center. 
Yes, I know this is the reward center. I work for Journey Rewards, you see. <laughs> I'm sorry? This is I'm Janet. I work for Journey Awards. We're here for customer support support. We make sure that everything's going all right with you. During the holiday season, we know that people can be a wee bit testy. Okay, ma'am, this is a promotional department, and what I'm here to do is to claim the reward for you. Right. I'm just here to make sure everything's going okay, Daniela. All right? Is everyone treat me with respect? Do you feel Order. like a value do you feel like a valued member of the team? I'm really not understanding what you're trying to say. Well, what I'm saying is if you have anything negative to say about your job right now, now's your chance to vent it out. We understand that our employees work better if they've had a <laughs> chance to voice their concerns. I think you have the wrong department caller. You can ask no, my I... callback and don't press the option for the reward, okay? Please don't, please don't uh, make me hang up. You're gonna have to do it, dear. Happy holiday. Take care, though. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, good luck with that, sweetheart. Hello. Thank you so much for holding. My name is Ralph, and I'll be helping you claim the reward today. May I have your person as me? Oh, Ralph, you're doing a lovely job answering the phone, lad. My name's Janet. I'm from Customer Support Support, and today $100 we're making sure that... The reward or a $100 dining certificate. Which one would you prefer today, shopping or dining? Oh, see, now you're interrupting me. I'm from Customer Support Support. I'm here to make sure you're all right. We're with employee relations to do with Journey Rewards. Hello, would you like so the shopping reward or the dining certificate since you press one to claim it? Well, no, but do you have any, do you have any tickets to Jamaica? Are you going to take the $100 shopping reward or the $100 dining certificate? Which one would you prefer today since I have you on oh, the line? I'll take you the 100 shopping reward, please. Where would you like this to be mailed? Oh, you can send that to uh, Santa Claus at the North Pole. No, I'm not. I'm not asking who do you want it to send it to. I'm asking where. Santa. Yeah, I'm giving you the address. The North Pole. Postal code H O H O H O. Unfortunately, the reward is not available there. It can only be in the United States at certain states. Well, Alaska's closed. Mm-hmm. And that is in the available right. state. Well, would you like me to so mail let's it? Send it? Yeah, we'll send it to Skagway, Alaska, please. Okay, but uh, uh, you're not giving me an address. Yeah, it's at uh, the dock. Listen, I work for customer support support. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that our operators are working all right and everyone's treating them with respect. So far, it's all right now. Safe, once we're once we're, once we're done with drugs. the claiming process of your reward, I will definitely let you talk about that. But right now, I'm trying to mail the reward that you press one to claim. Are you on drugs, there, sir? Yeah, where, where, where would you like me to mail this to? We, well, you you're know our drug an policy. Are you aware of the company's you're, drug policy, you're not, son? You're not giving me an address. I'm afraid we're gonna have where to let this go to, to the internal review. Where would you like me to mail this to? Hi, my name is Janet. I'm with customer support. Yeah, support. Like Today we're offering you the opportunity you to vent to all your like things. You can just one keep of the going and everyone can keep mail talking to you. Keep going. You can use your shopping reward in order. Is going to do the stop talking first, son? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be me? We don't know. We're just going to keep going, aren't we? Candy? I think, son, that you're on the drugs. I think you're on the drugs. I think it on the drugs. I think it on the drugs. I think it on the. That's why they be making candy, huh? I'm sorry, son. I think it on the drugs. I think it on the drugs. I think it on the drugs, son. Hello, do you have an address for me to mail this to? Yes. Yes, son. I told you. 
I told you my address. You're just not listening because you're on the drugs. You're on the drugs. You're on the drugs. Are you, are you, do you have an address? Look, I think we're going to have to take this to the internal review. There's going to be an internal review. Employee relations will be in touch with you soon. Uh, we're going to do a drug test. you me to your reward? Other you're not that, afraid of needles, are you? I don't, I don't really you? worry about that. We're going to need a urine yes, sample yeah, by you, the you, end you of the day, me, please. You can tell me all that after we're done with the reward, all right? Where would you like me to mail your reward? Oh, I think I already told you. I think I already told you. I think I already told you. Maybe you just want me to 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 just want me you got to stay off the cocaine, 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 cocaine. Do they pay you in cocaine? Cocaine, 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 All right, to what address would you like me to mail the reward? You ready? Hello there, this is Janet from Customer Support Support, Internal Reviews and Employee Relations. We're just calling to check in to make sure our employees are doing everything they need to do. And uh, we know at this Christmas time, some people get abused quite a bit. And we apologize for that. So if you'd like to vent anything, we know that once you've vented, our employees seem to work a lot better. Hello, are you ready for the reward? For the For the address? Are you alright, son? Is everybody treating you with respect there? Uh, I'm sorry? What did you say? I didn't catch that. Are you ready for the address? I'm ready all for right. the address whenever you all are. Alright, give me okay? give me your address. I'm ready. I'll write it down. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'll write it down. Give me your address. What are you writing down? I'm not ready with the confirmation number. I still don't is know it, where to send this. Is your address Kingston? Where? No, it's not Kingston. Oh, pirates, yes, they rob I. Oh, where would you like me to mail this to? Are you having hallucinations? Hallucinations? Thank you for holding. My name is Ernest. I'll be helping you bring your reward. I have a person as in. Hi there, Ernest. This is Pat from Customer Support Support, Internal Reviews and Employee Relations. We just want to make sure that everything's going well with you. Sometimes during the holiday season, our employees have a tough time. Mm, yes, we're doing good. Nobody's abusing you too much or anything like that, Ernest? Nope, nothing. That's too Why bad. Why the voice like that? Oh, uh, the fuck with your head, Ernest? <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Have fun in Mumbai, friend. Okay. Did you see that car that flipped today? I'm, I'm sorry. Have you ever you. have you ever been to that floating restaurant? Uh, no. No. No, no, I haven't got the chance yet. Yeah, I think they closed it anyways for the day. At least there was too many people on it or something. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice to see to go actually. Have you ever gone? Well, no, but one day I'll get there. Okay. Did you see the car that flipped on the street? Turtled? Yeah, that one I did. You did, eh? Was that your fault? Yeah. And you need to learn to drive. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't mine. Uh, it it wasn't sounds like fault. it was your was fault. Thank uh, you. Have a great day. We don't call it work. You can't call it work. I know. <laughs> okay, as long Thank as you, you know. Now right. you go fuck yourself. 
All right, thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for helping out with customer support. Support. Have a wonderful day, sir. Yeah, same to you. Hang up now. It's on you. Push the button. Push the fucking button. Hang up. Oh, you're making my job at customer support support really difficult. Thank you for holding. My name is Jeff. I'll be helping you claim your $100 rebate voucher today. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. May I have your first and last name, please? Hey there, Jeff. This is your boss speaking. I'm finding out that people there are doing drugs, so we're going to do a random urine test on you. So I'm going to need you at the front deck gate with your piss, please. Uh, have a good day. Make sure you're there right away or you're fired. Now hang up and get your ass down here with a cup full of pee. What? Are you here yet, son? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for calling the board center. My name is Travis. How can I help you? Hey there, Travis. This is the boss speaking. We're going to need you to come down and take a, a drug test. All right, son? All right. All right. Better Business Bureau is all up my ass, and I gotta blame it on somebody. Hopefully, your piss is clean, right? Yes, sir. It's a business recorded line reward center. ID number 5028. Name is Travis Anderson. All right, perfect. Come on down to front desk. We need you to bring a cup of your pee. Uh, are you afraid of needles? No, sir. Give, take my address. I will give you my address. You can come to our address with any of your agent, any of your FBI. Any of your police officers, I'm ready with the loaded guns. To no, son, this is your boss speaking. I don't want the FBI around. Don't let them come around, please. We don't need them sniffing around our business. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't need a, I don't need the hassle of all this heat on us. So just take the fucking piss test. And come on down to the front desk and give it to the Better Business Bureau so they can take it and have it tested. Hopefully you've been staying away from the cocaine at least a couple days. And make sure you come here with that cup of pee. We need that right away. You want to drink my pee? I forgot you were into that kind of stuff. Nothing good comes from talking to you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>